Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, just getting ready to leave the marina. I'm going to go out to uh, the anchorage out here for uh, a, a few days, a good few days. I the forecast is uh, not great for a few days. There's big depression west, big depression north. Uh, it doesn't look great. So anyway, so when I'm in the marina, it's great to get a few jobs done. Uh, just uh, fill up my water tanks and um, put a few extras, jerry cans. And, uh, nice to do that while I'm in. Another job, I'll, uh, I'll top up the diesel. I, I think I only need 20 litres of diesel. I need to get some um, some petrol for the dinghy because I'll be using that to get in and out of the anchorage. Uh, as you can see, I filled up a few water jars, which is good for, just for washing. Uh, so it's all good. Uh, keen to get going now. I, I, I like being in the marina, but it's lovely to be in the anchorage as well. So, all systems go. So we're out of the marina. Oh good, busy marina. But it's lovely, I had a really good time here. And uh, anyway, it's free in the anchorage. There's a good bit of room in the anchorage. Now there's bad weather forecast, so I'm gonna try to get in as sheltered as I can. Uh, I'll show you the forecast in a while, it's not great. Anyway, lovely to be back out. That's an Irish boat, Irish flag. So I'm back in the anchorage, uh, just waiting for the anchor to bite and the wind to swing me and I'll uh, see if I'm happy where I am and put the kettle on. Oh, it's so good to be back out in the water. Nice to be in the marina, as I said, but it's lovely to be outside again. And uh, there's going to be quite a swell here during the week, but uh, it's free. <laughs> and uh, I'm still quite near the marina. So if I need to uh, go to the shop or, yeah, it's, it's just handy. So, Waxwing is moving and dancing again, I like that. Peace and quiet. So, uh, lovely to be anchored now, and anchor dug in well. And I can get tidying up and uh, put all the ropes and fenders away. And uh, enjoy the movement of the boat again. Well, the forecast was right. Uh, force five today, force six tomorrow, so I'm actually moving. Uh, to a more sheltered spot in the anchorage because it emptied out. I'm going to go uh, inside that cat. A lot of the boats have moved, so the, the anchorage is there's plenty of space now and it's more sheltered in there. So I'm happy now with this spot. Uh, I prefer, I always prefer being further out in case you drag anchor or anything like that, but they're given a 1.9 meter swell here for tomorrow and 4.6, 30 something knots of wind. So I should be a little bit more protected in here and more comfortable. I just don't like being so close to shore. <laughs> but uh, I have a good rock now anchor and I've, I've plenty of chain out. I'm in five meters and I have, I've way too much chain out, which is good. Happy now. I always find that about boating and sailing. It's all about just making the decisions. So I decided it wasn't great there and it'll be twice as bad tomorrow. So anyway, now is the time to do it rather than trying to do it in 4-6. And uh, I have a shorter dinghy ride now as well when I want to go into the, to the shops or showers or anything like that. So it's all good. 
Oh, lovely to be back out in the water. I always feel alive when I'm on the boat. <laughs> Way too much info. I had a comment on a video uh, two weeks ago about my mast steps from Pete. And uh, I don't know the make of them, so I said I'd show them. Uh, they're excellent steps. Sorry, it's a bit rolly here today. Uh, so I'll show you now. A lot of boats coming in to get out of the bad weather. There's four six due tomorrow and a big swell. So I moved. So I don't know the manufacturer of these steps, but they're, they're excellent. So you might be able to Google them or look them up, but they're great. Nothing snags on them and they're very easy to climb. So anyway, I hope that helps, Peter. Beautiful day here, even though it's windy. It was forecast anyway. This is part of that big depression that's uh, outside and it's given the southerly winds, which I don't want. I want the, the usual, the, the northeasterlies. But anyway, that's sailing. Patience is a virtue. Could be stuck in worse places. <laughs> So it's a crazy rough day here today, you probably see. I'll show you outside, uh, we're gusting 30 knots. So I decided to fit the uh, the new uh, Seagull water filter. Might have keep busy. So the first thing I always do is I lay out all the components. I even read the instructions, which is always a help. <laughs> uh, so I have a great selection of the tools and work because I love fixing things. Uh, so I, I got to position the tap, add to my collection of taps. Uh, so that'll be my fresh water tap then. Uh, filter to the Seagull 4. So I just have to position it then. Uh, so I can fit the filter somewhere nicely inside. I have this common rail that a friend of mine, Reese, gave me from Sailing Yacht Zora. So I can just tap straight onto that, which would be my feed. And... So I just have to position the unit, that's my feed, and then that will be up to the top. So it's fairly straightforward, and it's going to be great. I bought, the reason I bought the um, the filter was, ah, I got sick a few weeks ago. I don't know if it was food poisoning or it was dirty water, but I'm just going to eliminate everything. So uh, the filter itself was expensive. And anyway, it means that uh, I, I won't have any concerns about drinking water because I got a lot of comments on, on the video. Thank you. Uh, saying that people had used them and found them great and the reviews online are great so anyway it's I love wax wings so it's nice to uh, add these things and uh, I've lived on boats for years I've been sailing all my life and I've never had an issue with water before so it might not have been the water plus I have a water maker so the water from that should be good but I do fill up in marinas I have two tanks so anyway uh, I have it ruled out now anyway screwed on the mounting bracket that will go there then and I just I need to put on uh, PTFE tape on the top of that now and then start it. Good. Okay, moment of truth. So what I did, I've this fitted here. That's this one is the main feed into the, I had to get a, an adapter there. It came with it actually, which was good. And then this one runs up to the faucet. So, oh good, no leaks, no drips. Oh, that's not good. Oh, woo! Clean drinking water. I'd probably let that run away now to let the charcoal in. If there's charcoal in it. Wow, that's awesome. Hey! Happy with that now. That worked out really well, actually. I love when things work well. Whew! Moment of truth. Beautiful. 
happy now. Tidy up. So that's good. That's a great peace of mind. And uh, and it worked well, as I said. And I like when things work well. Just now. And having the right tools and everything uh, always helps. And I have a good selection of tools, thankfully. I like fixing things. Just hit 32 knots there a minute ago. It's like being back in Ireland. I'm glad I moved uh, earlier today because I was out there. I have a good anchor and a plenty of chain out. But it is lively. Uh, it's meant to die off about lunchtime tomorrow. It gets stronger during the night and then it fades away, which will be good. So I'll be rocked to sleep tonight. Good morning. Uh, Monday morning, the 5th of December. I'm just up after a crazy night. It's still rolling, as you can see. I had to reset the anchor during the night. Uh, I, I just felt it was a bit close to the shore and the waves were, were getting big and breaking. But anyway, first thing I do every morning, it's all good anyway. I have a good rock now and a, 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 a lot of chain out. Uh, first thing I do every morning, because I want to get going, is check my forecast and it's, uh, sorry, the sun is coming in. It's still not looking good. Uh, it's very bad, in fact. So I'll show you now. I use Predict Wind. I find Predict Wind really good. I use them at sea as well because I can I can download through my Iridium Go. So I just got used to Predict Wind. So you can see there's uh, three depressions. Um, I'm here at this white dot in Gran Canaria, and I want to go to the Cape Verde. So Monday. I just have southerly winds the whole time. Look at this big guy outside. That's just giving south winds, south swell, until Saturday, Sunday. So for a full week, until the Azores High comes back, it looks like I'm stuck here for a week. There's eight, eight boats that I know of waiting to go the same way. So I'm hoping that after, this is a high here starting. So I'm hoping once this high comes up and, and we get the Azores High back, I'll have the normal northeast trades to get down but a week waiting is a long time and I'm ready to go you know so unfortunately that's a pity so I decided to get off the boat for a while it was rocking and rolling uh, you can see her outside so you can see waxwing rocking and rolling uh, <laughs> and it's a lot better now than it was so I'm going to move up outside that cat later on. When I go back, in fact, if the wind eases us up. So, as you can see, it's still rocking and rolling. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so with more bad weather forecast, and we're back into the marina. My mate Richard is helping me. We got a spot, luckily enough. Lovely full moon over uh, Pasico Blanco Marina tonight. Nice colours too. So I put Waxwing back in the marina today uh, because it looks like I have to go to... Um, nice from this view. Looks like I have to go to uh, Las Palmas with the bus tomorrow to get uh, uh, clearance papers to leave the Canaries for the Caribbean. I don't think I can do it in this marina. So uh, anyway, so I'd rather leave her in the marina than uh, out in the anchorage alone for a day. So it's all good. So <clears throat> I'm just off the bus and I arrived in La Las Palmas in the north of Gran Canaria. First time here, it's a huge marina. So I gotta go to the uh, the customs, it's a bit noisy now with the traffic. I gotta go to the customs and get clearance papers to check out of the Canaries. Uh, and this is the, the main port, so. Anyway, it was a, a short bus ride and it's nice to get off the boat for the day. And I go meeting my friend Reese and his wife Neve uh, because we'll be sailing probably leaving at the same time uh, to cross the Atlantic. So it'd be nice to catch up with Reese and Neve 
and uh, go, I'm just on my way down to their boat now. The boat is over there. So, uh, so hopefully I get on well now with customs. I brought all my papers and it's all part of it. Uh, preparation. Preparation is the essence of success, my dad used to say. <laughs> so feeling good and uh, enjoying here, being here. It's boat paradise. I'll show you properly now in a minute. So greetings from Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. Wow, it's a, <clears throat> a big marina. Uh, people feed the fish here, isn't it lovely? So now I try to find my friend. Well, that was easy. <laughs> the first boat in. Hola, amigo. <laughs> That's How are you, Reese? What's going on? Looking good. We're nearly in Bristol now, man. Huh? Oh, the boat looks great. Dude, that's a card. How'd you get on, Peter? I passed. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my clearance papers, all good to go. Next stop, probably the Caribbean or Cape Verde. Sweet, man. Yeah. It's going to be fun sailing with you. I well, know, alongside. Have a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. all my courtesy flags for the Caribbean and the Cape Verde while I was in Las Palmas. So you've probably noticed I'm wearing a lot of uh, Alma clothing and I branded the boat with Alma. Uh, so I'm delighted to say I'm in a new partnership with, with uh, Alma. I made some notes. Uh, they're a Portuguese brand very motivated in supporting arts, sports and music and have been doing so since 2007. They have a new Instagram account and I'll put the link uh, below. So please follow the, the new Instagram account and you get to see more uh, on their page. So they make sustainable products, uh, limited ed edition collections, uh, lovely colorful uh, clothing, and uh, I have more now, the hats and that as well, I'll show you. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy anything for them, uh, say you've come through me, and they'll give me uh, a small uh, percentage that will help me um, on my way around the world, which would be cool. And it's lovely that they, they, they do a lot of really good work helping people in, as I said, in the arts and sport and stuff like that. So I'll show you the hat. All nice stuff. Uh, I like this one actually. So anyway, a big thank you to Alma, Portugal. And I'm uh, delighted to be uh, working with you. Uh, it's all good, all exciting. So. Well, I figured out one thing after making that clip anyway, that I'll never be a newsreader. <laughs> so anyway, uh, again, thank you, Alma. Delighted. Did another uh, food shop today. Uh, every time I can, I, I uh, stock up with more uh, fresh food and potatoes and milk and nice stuff. Snacks. <laughs> so the forecast is still looking good for uh, today's Friday. So the forecast is looking good to leave probably Monday or Tuesday. Uh, all going well, please God. So I'm uh, very well prepared. Uh, my friend Reese on Sailing Yacht Zora is on his way to the Anchorage. He's gonna be here in about three hours. So there's gonna be a couple of boats probably leaving the same day, uh, for, probably for the Cape Verde, or, or directly across. So some people are thinking of going directly in. Let's see what the weather does as I'm going. So uh, very exciting. Um, so thanks for, for watching this week. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. So a big thank you to everyone that has joined Patreon. It really helps uh, with you know keeping everything running. And uh, so uh, wishing everyone a lovely weekend. Uh, stay safe. Uh, so wax wing out.